Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, just wanted to go ahead and remake a couple of the tor uh, some of the tutorials that I already had. Um, this one is just dealing with um, converting from uh, polar coordinates to uh, Cartesian, Cartesian, whatever, however you want to say it. Um, the last one was just really generic, and I just I didn't like how it was, so I want to go back and redo it. Um, as you can see, I've already set up my um, project here, so just make sure to make all these files, make a uh, vector 3D class file, because we'll be making a vector class, um, a main, and a physics um, header file. So, um, if you got that, then you'll be good to go, and I already did all this just to cut down on time. Um, in our header file, make sure you include your, if not define, defines, and your include IO stream, so that way we can use using namespace std. Um, and then in your class structure, you want to go ahead and just make just make it all public. Um, no need really to use private for right now. We're not doing anything too big. Um, your vector 3D. This is your vector 3D class. Um, as you can see, x n, y n, z n. Um, set z equal to zero, just in case you don't have a third. If you don't need three points, uh, you can just use the two. And that way, if you just use two, you don't have to make an entirely separate vector 2D class. You can just do 3D and then just not initialize Z. Um, I don't think that will mess anything up for anything that you're doing. If you do just use two, it shouldn't. Um, then you want to make a print statement or a print function, and then you want to initialize floats of X, Y, and Z. And we'll use those in the CPP file, like I'll show you. And then make sure to end if. Okay, and then in your uh, that .cpp file, you know, include the IO stream, and the header should already be included. And using namespace std, um, and then our vector class, we just want to initialize our x equal to xn, so x is equal to xn. And as you remember, our x's were initialized right there, so the compiler will, will know what the x, y, and z are, um, what they are. So then, after that, you want to go in here to your print statement, and you just want to see out your x, y, and z. Uh, make sure to put some spaces in between. You can also do curly braces, um, or uh, brackets, sorry. Um, it'll look a little better rather than, but I just have commas, so, you know, no big deal. And uh, no, no need to do anything with the destructor yet. Okay, and then in your physics file, you want to go ahead and include your math.h and also your IO stream. This is so we can use math functions. And then also do your if not defines, defines in here as well. And then uh, do some defines. Uh, one for pi, and I also have one in here for gravity. Um, don't need the gravity one for this tutorial, but it's just good to put that in there that way. You always have it. And then this is going to be our main block of code. Um, as you can see, our class type right here is a vector 3D. Uh, that is our function name. And then we're going to make a vector 3D class of polar. Okay, and then when we go into the main, I'll show you what that means. Um, so then right here we want to initialize another class structure called vector 3D and just you can name it whatever. I just named it X and then initialize both X and Y equal to zero. If you have a third coordinate then equal Z equal to zero as well. Um, and then we go down here and do your X dot X and what that means is the X is the X from the vector class. It's that but it takes in three parameters from here so when you do x dot, it'll give you the x. So see if we change this to x, y, and then come over here and change that to x, y. When we do that, we can go dot, ah, that didn't work. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't work. Anyway, um, so yeah, that just initializes your x value but it all pulls from this right in here. So, And then you want to make the polar.x, which is this right up here, which I'll show you when we do that in the main file, the x version of that uh, times the cosine of the polar.y, which will be your direction. The, the x value is going to be your magnitude, and the y value is going to be your direction. 
and then you want to do your times pi divided by 180 uh, to, convert it, to convert it from uh, degrees to radians or radians to degrees. Either one. That's that's what you want to do. And then the same for the dot y. Same thing. All the same function except for instead of cosine, you use sine. And then you want to return the vector 3D of x. Okay. And then what doing all that is going to equal you to instead of you know, writing C out, C and C out, C in the whole time. Um, you can do it like this. So first thing we'll do is we'll initialize our floats of a magnitude and a direction. And then we want to C out um, for the user to input oops, magnitude. Oops. And you don't have to do a C out. Um, this is just mainly for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can just easily do the uh, call the uh, vector class and put the and or put the amount that you want in, and then just you know print that, and that'll work. But I'll just do it this way, just to kind of give it like a user interaction. And then you want to see in our magnitude, and then we want to see out input direction, and see in your direction. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is use our vector 3D class that we've already made and just initialize it to temp and then see our IntelliSense tells us our x, y, and z. So then our x value is going to be equal to our magnitude and our y value is going to be equal to our direction. Um, I don't know if that was our... Okay. And then once we got that we want to then, now that we have our um, our vector class, we can then do our temp is, and yeah, we go to polar to cart. Oops, spelled that wrong. And then see the polar right here is a vector 3D class, and as you see, our temp class was a vector 3D class, and that took the x and y values of mag magnitude and the direction, so we just initialize temp equal to temp, and then instead of doing C out temp like you would think to do, if you do that you're going to get an error, and I'll show you what the error looks like just in case you do do it. It'll be like binary operator something. Okay. Right there, yeah. Binary takes no right hand operator of the type vector 3D. That's because it doesn't know the C out doesn't can't it can't print out the the vector class because it um it just it can't print it out. So instead of doing it like that, like you think it would um the print function that we made right here that sees that it sees out our X, Y, and Z, that's what we want to use. So then instead of just doing set, you just do temp, print, and then close off the braces, and then rebuild, and no errors, debug it, and we'll do 20 and 30. This should equal 17.32 for our magnitude and uh, about 10 for our um, direction, or I'll convert it to uh, component form. So. And you know, 17.32 rounds the 17.32, and that rounds the 10. And then zero is for the z because we didn't have a zero. So, um, case you saw my last video, this one was just a little bit l takes a little bit longer to set it up, but once you got it set up, it's only a matter of changing these numbers, and that's that's it. So that, that makes it really nice and it's just a lot prettier to look at. So hope this was helpful. Um, I'll be building off of this tutorial. So uh, just save this to a separate file and um, we'll build off of this. So, Alright.